So we know that sales online can be super tricky and really following up with potential clients can be a full-time job, right? So stick around because in this video, I'm gonna teach you ways that you can follow up with potential clients without being annoying, because that's what we want. Okay, let's do it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, Jennifer Marilla. This YouTube channel is for entrepreneurs, coaches, and online service providers who are looking to grow their online business using social media. That's right up your alley. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're excited to really dive into how to track and follow up with potential clients without being annoying, then hit that thumbs up because we're about to dive in and I'm gonna share some of my secrets and strategies that I use in my multi six figure business to follow up with clients. Okay, my friends. So the first thing you wanna consider is the difference between warm, cold, and hot leads, right? So let's clarify this. Cold leads are people that don't know you, aren't part of your world, maybe just started following you, have no idea of your history, like those are cold leads. Those are people that have just walked into your world. So warm leads are people that follow you, that consume all of your free content, maybe downloaded some of your freebies and have shown interest in potentially purchasing your offers, but haven't exactly. And hot leads are past clients, people that have worked with you, that are working with you, that you can potentially funnel into another program or offer, etc. So now that we clarify what we mean by warm, cold, and hot leads, let's get crystal clear that when you're reaching out to people, I am not a fan of cold pitching. Like that is the rule of thumb that I teach all of my clients that I do not do in my business is I do not cold pitch. And let me clarify, when I say cold pitch, if you don't follow me and you comment on my page, I do not reach out to you and say, hello, how are you? Buy my products as a client experience, right? Like if somebody comes into your world, how is their journey? How is their customer experience through the entire process, right? Like where are you showing up for them and providing value? Because the most important thing throughout this entire process is that you're providing value and getting them results. Whether they're your clients or not, that is irrelevant. I want you to treat them as if they are, right? Because potentially they will be, you know? All right, so once, you get that into place. And I will say this, in my business, we we create systems and policies for this sales process to make sure that it's like literally perfect, okay? And so when somebody follows us, we wait for about three comments before we reach out to them and start building that engagement. Now, based on where they are in their business, we have a client funnel where we offer them a freebie. And this could be a downloadable document, this could be a video mini course, this could be a like literally a Google document that I walk them through process and I'm on the camera. Like something super simple, like Loom video, very easy. But the point is, is that I'm giving them value, telling them, hey, go do this. When you finish this and you get that result, then I want you to come back to me, right? Because then we continuously do is we provide the value and we're getting them to potentially buy from us, right? Now, I like to, we actually have a system online where we set this up through ClickUp. If you guys are interested in having me share my client, um, lead tracker, then leave me in the comments below lead tracker and I'll create another video and possibly create a template to get to you guys. So we'll leave that there. Okay, so inside ClickUp, what we do is we have the person's name, we have the person's handle, we reach out to our leads on Instagram because that's where the majority of our leads come from. We have their email addresses if we can get them and then we have the time we have the first point of interaction, right? And then we categorize them based on what program they would be best fit for and our goal to get them into. So if it's a low level program, we actually have in our notes what is actually happening in the conversations and in the DMs so that if somebody else other than myself and my content manager were to start creating conversations with these people, they knew exactly what to say and how to say it based on the history and what in the direction we were trying to take them in, okay? So I used to do this old school when I first started and I literally used to put pen to paper and just put names, Instagram accounts, and I would level them out. So I would ask them like intro, it would, depending on the type of business that they were at, it would be like beginning, intermediate or high level, right? And based off of that, I would then create the framework of how we would pitch to them. So that you guys understand the entire process. The goal is to get somebody from a cold to a hot lead or a cold to a warm lead, right? We wanna convert cold leads to warm leads as soon as possible because the higher chances of them converting are be becoming a lot quicker, right? So. What we do with someone is, let's say somebody reaches out to us today, we won't follow up with them. They get on a sales call, they're not interested, right? We won't follow up with them for at least two weeks. And we track all of that. We go back into the notes, we put a timer in our system so that in two weeks we want to reach out to Samantha Smith and we want to let her know that we're thinking about her and we want to just follow up and see how things are doing, right? 
And so what happens here is that we are creating, again, a client experience. We're creating a relationship between your ideal client and you're really nurturing that relationship. Yes, this takes time. Yes, this is a system that has worked for me that I have tweaked over the years, over and over. So by all means, I'm sharing this with you and it might work for your business, it might not work. I mean, chances are it's probably going to work because it's pretty generic and you can use it for anything. But um, really just thinking about that. You wanna give enough time for them to have your frame of mind to be in your presence and you, without having too much time. So if somebody reaches out to you today, you don't wanna wait a month to reach out to them. Chances are they probably forgot about you, but you can totally reach out to them in two weeks. I think two weeks is the longest I would wait. I'd even go as far as like a week to just be like, hey, Samantha, just checking up on you. How are you doing? Blah, 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 whatever. And so that's how you begin to build that. But the most important thing is that you wanna create as natural relationship as possible. I look at my leads as friends. Like I talk to them like we are buddies. Yes, there is a level of professionalism and obviously boundary that I withhold, but the communication style isn't an IG robot, like it is me on the other end, or my content team. That's pretty much it. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to create that lead tracker. Again, put in leads in the comments and then we'll create a whole video on that and I'll walk you through that process. But there you guys have it. I hope this was super helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this and if this wasn't clear, find me on Instagram and I can give you some more tips on that. But until next time, my friends, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye.